Hey everybody, I wanted to touch base with you this week on a topic that's really close to my heart and it's unity and diversity and how that's so important to who we are as a world, as a nation, as a community, as a body of Christ and what you might not understand is how important it is to us in our individual well-being and growth. And this week, we have celebrated Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, and many of us have been thinking along the lines of racial diversity and movement toward unity among races because Dr. King was such a spiritual leader and such a world leader and a man of great vision and powerful, far-reaching impact. We want to observe his life and the meaning of all that he did for the civil rights movement and beyond that, what he did to be a spiritual leader in the world as well. Uh, it includes racial equality because certainly part of the message in Christianity is to embrace people of all races and backgrounds and social and economic positions and to become one body of Christ one people, one children of God together, embracing one another and treating one another with compassion and love without favoritism or without discrimination. And that's very important to Christianity. And loving one another is important in all parts of who we are as Christians as well. And, and having that, that faith-based approach to unity and diversity is critical to who we are as people and how we grow in our character, in our minds, and in our ability to actualize our potential as human beings. Our minds crave seeing things from new perspectives. You can't learn unless you see something from a new perspective. And if you're only around people who know what you know and see things from your perspective, you will never grow. So you will never, therefore, reach your potential unless you reach out and learn from the experiences of others. And then the more diverse those experiences are, the more you will grow and the more you will learn in your mind. The more you will grow and the more you will learn in your heart and be able to be a more compassionate, loving, and understanding person if you understand the backgrounds and experiences and lives that other people have led. And you learn to be compassionate and learn to have empathy for others who have not experienced the same things that you have. If you only reach out to and embrace people that are just like you, your heart does not grow. Your spirit does not grow unless you stretch your spirit beyond what only you've known and learn more diverse things from different kinds of people. Now, that doesn't mean we have to agree with perspectives, opinions of all the people around us, because obviously unity and diversity encompasses more than just racial division. We have a lot of kinds of division in our world today that is just getting worse and worse, it seems. It seems we're more disconnected in this social media connected world than we've ever been before. We're more isolated and more likely to throw out stereotypes and misconceptions at people, and, and oftentimes it's undeserved, and we simply don't understand their perspective. And even if we don't agree with another person's perspective, it's important to value them as people. And we don't have to agree with one another. We don't have to believe that someone's religion is as valid as our religion. We don't have to agree that their way to God is the same way as our way to God. It's just, we don't have to agree and embrace everyone's perspective to love and embrace the person. And I think we're missing that because there's, there's a point of view that says you have to agree with everybody in order to be able to accept the person. And if you have to agree with everything everybody thinks or says in order to love them, then you're going to be very limited in the number of people that you can love or you will be a person whose truth isn't very clear. So it's okay to disagree or differ in your opinion, but we should not let that keep us from loving the person. Person is still a valid child of God, beloved and precious in the eyes of the Lord. And because of that, because he's a creation or she is a creation of God, we should 
love them as an individual, as a person who is precious and is a precious life and treat them as such. And so doing that, we can listen and we can be more receptive to making relationships with people that aren't like us. And we can become more likely to be understanding and caring and compassionate individuals. And that's when we will grow and we will learn to have better problem solving skills. We will learn to be able to see things that we would never have seen or understood or experienced before because we become richer, stronger, more well-grounded people by understanding the backgrounds that we couldn't have understood on our own experience, but by reaching out and having diverse, unified relationships with other people. I had the marvelous and precious opportunity in high school to have a very racially diverse faculty, including the administration of my high school, and our education was filled with racially diverse content. Uh, we had wonderful things. We were just enriched so much by the things that we learned from the people who taught us in my high school. And because the faculty set an example of being unified in their leadership and in their style of teaching, we too, as a student body, were also very much a family of diverse people. And I had this utopian experience thinking, I expect the world to fall in line with that when I get out of high school and it hasn't happened so far. So while we are looking at the world thinking that this is hopeless, it's not. Because for you in your world, if you take steps to reach out and embrace other people who are different from you, changing your world can ripple out to change other people's worlds. And that little by little can make a huge impact. Look at what Dr. King did with his life. We don't have to be a civil rights leader to change our immediate community and the lives of the few people that we can touch that will then reach out and touch other people and create a ripple effect that though we may not ever be famous, though we may not die for our attempts as he did, and he is such a remarkable individual. I'm not saying that we are on the same <laughs> on the same playing ground with what he has done, but we can each make a difference in a small way that may never be known, but it is still but small things can be big things when you do them with all your heart. And I pray that each of you will try to reach out in small ways to hear a few steps that you can take. Form genuine relationships. Don't just go out seeking to form forced relationships with people different from you, but real genuine relationships with people who are different. Um, if you see someone that you could possibly maybe make a connection with and it would be a genuine relationship, try that. Try something new. Don't let anything get in your way from that. And sometimes it takes some traveling to get to see things from a different perspective. If you have an opportunity to do so, travel outside of your immediate area as far as you are able and, and go to places where you can meet people who've had different experiences from you. Um, traveling outside the United States can be a really enriching ex experience and you can really be compassionate and be humble um, don't be the ugly American and expect them to be just like you, but go out there and learn how they live and, and what's important to them and what their culture is like and learn to kind of respect that culture and see how they live. Um, read widely. If you can't travel, you can always travel through literature. Read from other people's perspectives. And it doesn't have to just be for, about reading from different places in the world, but also reading from different socioeconomic experiences or, or different um, people like a, a different gender, what was their experience. Um, read from diverse perspectives, and that way you can grow and enrich your life. Um, reach out to new social media circles within reason. I mean, you don't want to go someplace that's going to be hateful, but reach out to someplace that's open to having new people come in and learn about their perspective and present a willingness to listen. Be open to their point of view and see where they're coming from. You don't have to agree with it, like I said. Just go and try to get a, a better understanding and be willing to Again, honor them as people that are valuable. Learn about other cultures. Take a class or go online and, and do some reading. Learn about 
people that have different backgrounds, perspectives, beliefs even than you, and, and learn why they believe what they believe so that when you meet people in your community, you can come with a sense of understanding. Learn about some cultural norms, maybe, you know, like a, a white Caucasian American, we have a certain sense of personal space. Well, people from all other cultures may get closer than you're comfortable with. And if you understand cultural norms of personal space, that can kind of help you be more accepting of that and more respectful of that and, and be willing to maybe even hug people. You know, it's just different for different cultures. So learning about eye contact and when that's respectful and when that's considered not respectful and, and how how to respond to that when you meet people it really helps come to um, meeting new people with a sense of understanding so also you can volunteer along people along with people that are different from you and that's a way that you can kind of come together under a mutual goal and learn to get to know people as people not just as a race or as a gender or as a faith um, but with a sense of understanding about that person as an individual and then you get you get to break down stereotypes when you get to really know people and who they are know their character know their personality and get to value them on a personal level and that is what breaks down division share your positive experiences with others that will help make this contagious so if you have any other tips for making yourself more unified and more diverse in your experiences in your community. I would love to hear those. Share them on social media or on my um, blog site at tinayager.com. I would love to hear them and I look forward to hearing your comments and I pray that you'll have a blessed and love and peace-filled week. Bye-bye.